All right, YouTube. Today we're just finishing up our league that we started earlier with Gen Shadow. Uh, I couldn't finish it all in time today because I just had to go uh, do do some other things. So we're just going to finish it up and post it on YouTube. Reminder that this is a donation deck list. If you see up here, no, it's over here. Over here, we've got, well, no, right over here, I guess. This is more, more difficult than it looks. Right here, there's a... Uh, donation ticker to support the Barrero brothers and then going to the Olympics. So if you'd like to see one of your decks played on stream, then check out um, check out the links below in the YouTube video and contact me and I will play your decks during the entire month of May. So um, I'll be going up to Vermont for uh, next week for a uh, wedding. So I'm going to do Finish some decks tomorrow, and then um, finish decks tomorrow. Then it'll be about a week off, so they'll kind of accrue up. So then we'll get to them. So we're on the play, which is sweet. Um, this hand's pretty good. The thought season of Tarmogorf with a removal spell and a battle rage to play over the top. This hand is pretty decent against anything. It's as good as you can get against control in game one. A hand like this would be interesting against like burn because we don't have a death shadow okay mask and you shall receive all right <clears throat> so we have to figure out how to pin my opponent with cards in hand so this thought seed will trade we're obviously taking this swift spear And then, well, we have to wonder if we're going to play the Tarmogoyf next turn. Because the Tarmogoyf will theoretically trade with Swift Spear and Searing Blaze, but that's a trade that I don't think we want to make. I can just fast forward through this. Okay. So we can thought seize the Searing Blaze and then push a Swift Spear and have Tarmogoyf check the next Swift Spear, which I think is pretty good for us. So let's play Goyf. Our opponent hit a land. Take this, because that's where we're going to represent more damage than the, the Swift Spear. The Swift Spear is only going to be two damage. I don't think I can afford to get a Blood Crypt. So we're going to have to wait on this third land here. My opponent drew a relevant spell. This could kind of get us into a little bit of trouble. Because like they pump this. But then we know they're kind of out of gas. Alright, that's... Not going to do very much for the rest of the game. Inspiring Vantage. Okay, they drew that. Nice. So, Sacred Foundry Mountain X. Well, we might as well cast this because we're going to. This will at least get the card out of my opponent. Four of Charms is a good one. That means we're dead to two, two top decks. We could have seen that coming, but I mean, we're like our like if it was a thought seed, we wouldn't have cast it. But now we're at six. Just coming in here with the goif. We're in trouble this game, for sure. Probably a tap sacred foundry here if I had to guess. Oh, no land drop at all. Alright. Not having a red source might come back to get us. Arid Mesa. Okay, we don't we knew they do we know still no two out of the three cards. 
don't think we can afford to cycle that. It doesn't pump Tarmogoyf and just puts us in Boros Charm range. Have to turn on my opponent just is like egregiously flooding out. Is that still going on here? All right. Yep, they got it. So let's draw a card here. Dismember. Okay, we just couldn't get we I mean couldn't really get a, afford to get a red source in that game and it cost us. Let's get rid of dismember. We want brutality. We want K command in this stub. We can cut a street wraith. Assassin's trophy is probably overkill. JVP is also pretty slow. JVP's trophy's probably better than JVP. The JVP has not been super impressive out of this sort of shell in a deck. I think, I think, I think you, you can definitely make a mistake with Jund, um, Shadow, and making it too mid rangey. All right, unfortunately, no good. Okay, so we have one, two, three. We have three quarters of delirium and an instant. I think we keep this hand. Put this rampager on the bottom. It's unfortunate this doesn't get its steam vents, but. That, that's, you know. Urgent Catacombs. I'm just going to get a Watery Grave. I'm going to get it tapped. The odds that we get to hit exactly Lava Spike on this turn just aren't that great. There's the guide. Street Wraith, not good. So we're going to cycle one of them. 13. I can't go to 11 because I can't have my Death Shadow dying. So I'm just going to play this tapped and we're going to just see another card here. Gross. Okay. All right. Well, now I can play Shadow. This works because of Eidolon. Resolves. <clears throat> so it's gonna put my opponent to 15. So that's good. If I stub this, my opponent goes to 15, I go to 5, this is 8. I can then put myself to fetch shock, fetch, si fetch puts me at four, cycle puts me at two, and then I can't stubborn denial to get myself out of the last burn spell if that's what my opponent has. So if I just stub this, I go to six, and then they have one more card, and I'm in the same spot. 
because I go to six. No, this isn't ta this isn't costing any damage, taking any damage to do. Five, four, nine. Okay, so this is interesting. So if I go to five, if I stub this, I go to six, fetch go to five, cycle street rate go to three, plus four doesn't get me there. I'm gonna have to let this go. Lava spike. So we stub this. And now we get the stomping ground. So I just attack. And that will do it. Whew. Whew. That was a close one. Oh man, I love playing against Burn. I think I have to keep it. This card, this deck does, this version of this deck does not have a lot of cards against Burn, but I think this is what we got to do here. Drawing Cake Man when we did was nice. My opponent just had nothing. Like. It's pretty good. I'm gonna keep this. It doesn't kill a creature, but it gets in the way of a creature. Like it's 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 really bad to like an Eidolon. But Eidolon's also really bad against Tarmogoyf. Well, now I can go fetch a swamp and cast a discard spell. We want to take Eidolon. All right, well, we're going to take. God, Grim Lava Mancer is so annoying, but Lava Mancer is a lot. What, Goblin Guide is a lot of damage. So they need a land. I'm just going to take the guide. Ooh, they ripped a guide. Gross. Bobble, bobble. Okay. My opponent is drawing a land. Jesus. All right. Well, we got to play Tarmogoy for this turn. The fact they're drawing a land is going to make this hard. Maybe I didn't fetch the right land turn one. Reverse doesn't do anything quite yet. All right, Fatal Push, Fatal Push is pretty solid. So if I go to four. Dub their play. So I have to push this, play a shockland, go get Death Shadow. 
in order to be in the game, I think. And I don't even think I can attack with this because I can't turn on two spells. Get Death Shadow. Should I play my Shadow? I can't play it because then they attack. It's just. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't attack either. This game is going to come down to it. So I know my opponent's hand. I have to counter the Lava Spike and hope they don't have a follow up. Okay, so they're not going to have a follow up. So I just counter the Lava Spike and it time walks them. I just counter whatever they do, because I have the next one covered. That's a smart play for my opponent. I'm just I'm telegraphing that that's not going to resolve, especially because I didn't play my Death Shadow. Okay, so I can actually go to three. They have Lava Spike. I can go to three and play another Tarmogoyf. But that doesn't change anything because they're just going to block and then die next turn. So I'm not even going to play my... I'm going to play my land, but I'm probably not going to crack it. Because I still just counter the Lava Spike and then only Boros Charm kills me. I don't even have to counter the Lava Spike, as sick as that is, unless they have an Eidolon. I'm just going to counter this. I only lose to Boros Charm, and if I let this resolve and they have a creature, I'm dead. Let's get to see what my opponent's drawing. It's a land that's pretty good for the home team. I'm gonna serve with both, and then I'm gonna just play a Tarmogoyf, and just kinda of hope that's enough. Again, it's it's Lava Spike or, bust, or Boros Charm or Bust. Nothing else beats me. Yep, we're good. We're good because we have a tough card. GG's opponent. <coughs> Whew, that Shadow vs. Burn is always a ride. That is fun magic. I love playing against Burn. I love playing Shadow against Burn. It's super intricate magic. Oh, that's just great. So cards, I haven't been impressed with this. And I haven't been impressed with this. And I haven't been impressed with this. And I haven't been impressed with the mana base. Honestly, at this point, if I was playing this deck, I would want to play just no forest, all black duels, all black fetches. And if I was playing four colors. And if I was playing three colors, then I would play the forest. the play. This game's pretty solid. Super explosive. This is a good game one hand. I mean, we'd like to see a discard spell on cover. Put almost five. Jeez. I don't know what they're playing. This might be one of those Tarfire yourself. Inquisition. Nice draw. So I want to go get Blood Crypt off Polluted Delta. I could have got an overgrown tomb off polluted delta, I guess. Alright, so my opponent just scoops it up. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say my opponent's playing a combo deck. This is not that great on the well, I don't want to over sideboard. I'm gonna cut this, bring in this. 
and then call it. Kind of sucks for content. All right, pretty explosive hand. We need another land, but if I get another land, should be in decent shape. My opponent hates my deck's opponent's deck hates land apparently. Oh, playing burn again. This hand is like not great against burn, but it could be busted. It's busted. Because this gets water grave. And this is gonna get Gorkland Rampanger at some point. Oh, okay, we're just gonna counter that. Because that card is messed up. Okay, so we're gonna be able to play a 1 1 Shadow. Could have played that fetch land because it could have been a it's gonna probably be a red source at some point. gotta be able to kill this thing being able to make this a 5-5 five five and a stubborn denial I'm gonna block it Three giant growth makes it a I'm gonna get myself in trouble here Most of this. They can still bolt it, I guess, but then we we can Inquisition into Traverse. Fire this off. Okay, so my opponent's dead, I think. Because we just go get another Death Shadow, play it, and then we have the ability to make... Like, they don't have a draw that kills us. And we can make both Shadows lethal next turn. And we'll, for them to make... For us that to be necessary, we'd have to see what they... Whatever they drew here. attack oh, what I was tweaking out here is my opponent this is like the concession pause I think it's the concession pause maybe what's going on moto can't handle it Attack with all creatures, okay. What do you got?
What do you got? All right, while well, my opponent's like thinking here, I've actually been working on a version of this deck that is like this. And I have kind of liked it more. I have to get rid of this decay though and put in two, two discs. Remember, I forgot to do that in my league. But I've actually kind of been liking this deck. It's a little more aggressive. I want another one of these. It's just more more aggressive, more like the mana base is actually decent. Really sucks against control, but like that's one of the problems with this deck. Just something like this I've just kind of liked recently. Like this card's nice because it just always gets in. I have to work on the sideboard. I just threw the sideboard together. The BBE is kind of spicy, but it's the, the grindy card. Could honestly see main decking one. But you have a lot of kind of awkward hits. Like you could hit Team or Battle Rage. You know, it's much better after sideboard when your decks tone are honed in. Like play this. Maybe like cut one of these, move a blood rail to the main deck. Just so that I can have access to two in the matchups where I really need it. Blood Braid. You're 18 lands with a four drop, but like you got Traverse. We have Tarfire to turn on Delirium and turn on Grim Flare. And like humans is around. The only problem with this is it's a little bit weaker to Phoenix. So I might have to like adjust my removal a little bit. Alright, second opponent's back from back and ready to lose. All right. Um, yeah, so I guess we can open up our pity chest. I can go back and talk about the deck. Here. Quantity one. See what we get. Five play points and exploration, nice. All right, let's go back here. Just talk about the deck for a quick second. Um, I think this card is a little bit of nonsense in this kind of a deck. Um, just because you're not looking... Like, this is a Grixis Shadow card. This isn't a Jun Shadow card. The Jun Shadow deck should be more aggressive. You shouldn't try to grind. You know, you should just try to, like, get in there and, and kill him. You know? Same thing kind of like with these... The Cyborg Traverse bullets are oftentimes just worse than traversing for, like, something that kills you. Kills them. Same with the Rampager. We had a couple times in the league where Rampager just didn't... If Rampager just didn't do anything. And oftentimes, the fact you can't one-shot people with this thing just makes it so that it's it's just too poor of a card, in my opinion. But remember, um, you can go donate up here to the Barreros. Check them out. Uh, their Facebook page will be linked below. Donation will be linked below. If you donate to the Barreros or myself, $10, I will play your deck on stream. Um, but besides that, I hope everyone has a great rest of their night, and I will see all of you next time.